So once again, our Parikrama party has come to Gaya and we're discovering so many holy places. This is actually the glory of this great country that there are so many holy places because Krishna chose to come here in many incarnations. Ete cham sa kolo pumsha Krishna's tu Bhagavan Swayam. Krishna is Bhagavan Swayam, he's avatari. He's the source of so many incarnations who come to this earth, this blessed earth, Bhumi Devi, at different times in the history of the human race, which actually goes back many millions of years. So everywhere you go in India, you'll find some temple, some shrine, some sacred lake, um, other special bodies of water and saints and sages, etc. So that's very true here in Gaya. We mentioned earlier this morning, pastimes going back to Satya Yuga. Here we're climbing to the top of this hill. It's like a little mountain actually. A little over 375 steps. Why are we going to so much trouble? Because at the top of this hill is a beautiful temple of Lord Shiva. Shiva is very popular in this part of India as he is all over India. We know him as uh, the greatest devotee of Krishna or, or Vishnu. So the devotees of Lord Shiva, they climb and we also climb to take his blessings to become better devotees of Lord Krishna. But um, the uh, Puranic history shows us that um, during the time of Lord Ramachandra, Ram came here to, uh, to Gaya to perform the Pinda ceremony for his father, Dasharath, King Dasharath, who had passed away. So while he was here, Lord Ram climbed these steps, these 375 steps, to have the darshan of Lord Shiva. So for the Shiva Bhaktas, that confirms that um, Ram is the servant of Shiva, that Shiva is superior. But our understanding is a little better, a little deeper actually. Just as the devotee wants to see Krishna, Krishna also wants to see his devotee. So really the purpose of Lord Ram's coming up these steps was to see his greatest devotee, Lord Shiva. That's how we understand it. It's very clear. Actually, at that point where uh, Lord Ramachandra was fighting Ravana in, in Lanka, the great battle that ended in Ravana's death finally, um, it, the battle was getting very intense. And uh, Lord Ram, he took his bow and he took his arrow, and finally he was about to do away with this big demon Ravana, ten-headed demon, Ra demon Ravana. His name means he who makes the, the universe scream. <laughs> so we won't go into detail. We all know Ravana, but just about as Ram was to shoot that uh, bow, that bow and arrow into the heart of uh, Ravana, up on the higher planetary systems, uh, Shiva was sitting with his wife Parvati. Parvati was on his lap, as we often see. And um, Parvati said to, to, to Lord Shiva, your devotee Ravana is about to be killed. You should do something. Stop Ram from killing him because Ravana was a great devotee of Shiva. That's where he got his powers, actually. So she said, your devotee is about to be killed. You should protect him from Ram. So Shiva said, Raki Krishna Mari Ke, Mari Krishna Raki Ke. If Krishna wants to kill someone, no one can save him. And if Krishna wants to save someone, no one can kill him. Which for us indicates that actually Lord Ram or Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna and his incarnations are supreme. And Lord Shiva is the very happy servant of Lord Ram, the very happy servant of Lord Krishna, the very happy servant of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nothing wrong with being the servant if you're the servant of a glorious master. That's the highest position we can attain and we're very happy to do that. So uh, when uh, Ramachandra uh, came up the mountain and Shiva saw him, they embraced, they embraced and as Lord Shiva's footprints are up there. Lord Shiva said to Ram, people will come to so much trouble to come and see me, they should also see your footprints. So you also leave your footprints here. So one can also see the footprints of Shiva and Lord Ramachandra at the top of this, uh, this mountain. What's very, very significant is that 500 years ago when Lord Chaitanya came here to offer Pinda for his departed father, uh, Jagannath Mishra, um, he took initiation from Ishwara Puri and guru and disciple Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was only 24 years old at the time, and Ishwarapuri, they also climbed these steps 
It's a little difficult, especially at our age, but we're doing it because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu walked here with Ishwara Puri, and they went to have darshan of Lord Shiva and the footprints of Ramachandra. So we'll follow, and always we're following in the footsteps of the Lord and His great devotees. This is the safest way to get back home, back to Godhead, without deviating even an inch. We just follow very carefully, and for us, we're following their representative, Sridhar Prabhupada, who's our guide here in Gaya, and every step of the way we make back to the spiritual world. All glorious to Sridhar Prabhupada. Hare Krishna.